and welcome to the 12th IGCSE Maths tutorial. And today we're doing factorizing and um, possibly some quadratic equations. So um, let's start. So uh, factorizing is the reverse of expanding. Basically, it's the reverse of expanding. And for example, we have, it's all about common factors. So let's try this one. 4x plus 4y. We have to um, factorize this. So the first step is to always draw some brackets. Well, you always need brackets. And we need to find a common factor f to these terms. 4x and 4y. These terms. Now one common factor I see is 4. So we put the 4 out here. Then we just need to divide each one by 4 and put the remaining ones in. Which are x and y. These are all quite easy, but um, when we get ones like uh, with uh, like this, a h plus a k plus b h plus b k, what we need to do is we need to factorize them in pairs. Okay, so we put a divider, and if we start by factorizing this one. One, two, two, two. So we start by factorizing equation one. Now, we have to find what's common to this pair, and we know that A is common to this pair, H plus K. And on the other one here, we've got B, H plus K. Now what we do here is to combine these, we just put the first term, which is the first bracket, which is common to both of them, h plus k. And then we put the um, other ones, a plus b. Okay? And that is the fact complete factorization of this. Now, let's try factorizing a quadratic equation. Okay, here we've got x squared plus 6x plus 8. So when we're doing this, we need to first, we need to first draw brackets. And we'll do brackets in green. Brackets. Brackets are first. So first we draw a set of two brackets like this. Then, then you get um, in a different color. Oopsie. Um, then we have letters. So and our letters are X and X because we have an X squared. Then the next step is we have to find our numbers. Now what we need to do is we need to find numbers that numbers that add that add, add to this, and multiply to make this. Run out of space. Multiply. So we have to find numbers that add to 6 and multiply to 8. I think 4 and 2 set of purposes, so we put a, um, I put a 4 in this bracket and a 2 in this bracket. The final step is to put the signs. Now since we know that all the terms are going to be positive, we don't have to worry about any signs, so we can just put plus here. Signs. And that is how to factorize um, an equation. But say that we had minus 8 here. So we, we know, and then we can... Uh, Not size, signs. <laughs> okay, um, so we have minus 8. So, what we need to do here is we need to think about when they multiply. So, they still add to, um, they still add to 6. But they 
and multiply to negative 8. And we know they have to be different if they're going to multiply to negative 8. Um, yeah. We actually can't do this one. So, with the set with this term, so, um, I'll just think of one that we can do. Okay, this is 2x. Okay, so what we do is we need to find numbers that add to make 2 and multiply to make negative 8. We know that 1 is to be positive. I want this to be negative. And we also know that they have to be multiplied, so they must be 4 and 2. Now, but which one's the, f which one's the positive one and which one's the negative one? Now, we, can, we know from this because that 4 is the positive one and 2 is the negative one because 4 minus 2 equals 2. Okay? So, it's actually quite easy. So let's move on to 2 point. 2.10 quadratic equations. Quadratic equations. Now, there are basically three ways of solving this. I want to go over the second two because solving it by factors is just uh, like factorizing it. Okay? And you use the zero point. Let's start off solution by formula. Now, we have to remember this big long formula. It's like this x equals negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. That is the quadratic formula. You'll notice that there's a plus minus in it. That tells us there are going to be two solutions. And we need to run in, in this format. A x squared plus B x plus C equals zero. And this formula will always work. Okay. Okay, so let's um do this equation. X squared x squared plus three point three. 3x x minus 0 0.7 equals 0. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to put this into a formula. So we put negative b, we know b is 3.3, so we put 3.3 in here, plus or minus the square root of 3.3 squared. Uh oh, what did that happen for? 0.3 squared minus. 4, and a is 0, 1, sorry, 1, um, so just we have to worry about the c, 0 0.7, 0 0.7, all over 2. Now we can do this on my calculator. And we're not, okay, and also should give us two solutions, that x equals this, or x equals this. So I'm just going to put this into my calculator now. Negative Fraction negative three point three plus square root of three point three squared minus four zero point seven all over two. Okay, so the first one is negative zero point two two seven negative and the negative one, you get negative 3.07. All these to three significant figures. Okay. This is the basically the first way of doing it. Now, they do not always give you the marks for using solution by formula. They don't always give you the marks for using solution by formula. So, so when Whenever you can, use the first method or the third method. And the third method is a method that we call solution by completing the square. So, we need to complete the square. So we have to, so let's try it with the example. And we'll do it in yellow. Okay, so x squared plus 6x. 
equals zero. So first we need to find half of six. Okay, half of this number, this number, half of this number, and then I'm sorry, that's what we're doing. What no? So basically, we need half this number and square it. Half this number here, which is three, and square it. And we need to subtract this to both sides. X squared plus six x minus nine. Minus minus nine. Now this is a. Now this is going to be a perfect square. So what we do is we put it in right into brackets. X x. Sorry. Wait. Letters. What? Oops. Okay. Um, Marks no, 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 no. Okay, perhaps this is not a very good example. Let's try this one. Um, sorry about that. X squared minus six x plus seven equals zero by completing the square. Okay. So the first step is we need to complete the square. By um Okay, so the first step to do is we need to know find this now half of this number. Now this number, and we square it, so we need 9. So we're basically subtracting 9. So x squared minus 6x plus 7. 7 minus 9 equals 0, which comes out to x squared minus 6x equals minus 2. Minus 2. Okay. And minus 2. Minus, minus equals, I'm mi um, sorry, not minus 2. You used to get something wrong. Equals just 2. Then, what we can do is we factorise this up into brackets. So we have x squared x x minus three all squared x minus three all squared, and that equals two. So then what we do is we take the square root of both sides. So, this comes out to x minus 3 equals the plus minus square root of 2. Okay, it's the, and that's the plus minus is how you get three solutions. Then we add 3 to this number. So, okay, x equals plus minus square root of 2 plus 3. Now, this gives us an exact answer. And we can solve out this if we want to to get x equals 4.41 or 1.59. And just before we go, let's do one word problem on problems solved by quadratic equations. And then we will be finished at the end of the algebra chapter, and then we'll get into the fun stuff. And the fun stuff is geometry. Well, at least I find it fun. I'm not sure what you find fun. But, so, for example. Okay. A man bought a certain number of golf balls for $20. If each ball that cost 20 cents less, he could have bought five more for the same money. How many golf balls did he buy? So first we need to first so number of balls balls equals x. Number of balls equals x. So the cost of each ball equals two thousand over x cents. So, so we know he spent twenty dollars. Now, five. Now, if he could buy five more balls, then he could have bought two thousand over x minus five cents. 
Now the new price is now that new price is twenty cents less than the original price. We can tell from here. No, the new price is twenty cents less than the original price. Because if we subtract these, we get twenty. Now, if we multiply everything by x, if we multiply everything by x and then multiply everything by x five, we get an quadratic equation that looks like this. And this is on page eighty five, by the way. The book's got a full explanation of this, and it looks like this: twenty. 20x squared plus 100x x minus 10 thousand to equal 0. Now it's probably okay to use the formula here, but since I've got the answers in the book, we know the answers are 20 or negative 25. So negative 25 is meaningless. It's kind of a negative price. So we we'll chuck this away and we chuck it into the trash can. Not going to use it. Goes in there. So twenty is the price, the price of a golf ball. So um, you can probably do revision exercise two a now, and we'll see you next time for mensuration, which is basically just measurements. Okay. But um, I will guess I will um see you next time in tutorial thirteen. But for now, this is, I will see you next time. Goodbye.